channel. My name's Cassie if you guys are new here. So I'm so excited for today's video because I am finally filming an apartment tour. I moved into this apartment in January and I'm finally getting around to filming an apartment tour in July, but that's okay, better late than never. It took a lot of time to really decorate this place and make it a space and a vibe that felt really comfortable and homey to me. The majority of my jobs are work from home jobs, so I wanted to make sure that I created a space that I truly loved and I think I have done that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a video that's been really highly requested and I'm so excited to be filming it today. I will have everything linked that I can find and I will also show you guys throughout the video where things are from if I can't find them or I can't link them. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and without further ado, let's get into my apartment tour. This is more of my living space here. I got this couch from Wayfair and it's the perfect size for this area. And then I also have some of these white pillows. I wanted to keep it pretty neutral in here. The walls are gray, so the vibe I was going for was more gray, white, marble, and brushed gold. So those are the colors that I've really tied in. So these pillows I had previously, I think I got those ones from Home Goods, and I wanna say I got that from Pier 1. Now over here, I bought this fake plant from Home Goods as well. I love the bottom of the wicker type basket. You'll see throughout the video, but I really love tying in a little bit of greenery in the house with the white. I think it complements it really, really nice. This table I actually bought from Pier 1 as well. I loved the brushed gold legs on it as well and I thought the marble was so beautiful. So I paired it with this tray that I actually got from Home Goods, and then I have two books here that I use as coffee table books. This candle that I got from Target, it is the Chip and Joanna collection, and then this little fake flower arrangement that I also got from Home Goods. So that is my coffee table decor. I'm always playing around with this, but this is what I have right now and I love it. Moving over here, this is where I chill out most of the time. I got this lamp from Amazon. It's nice to have at night, sometimes when I don't wanna put the big overhead light on, I'll just put that lamp on. Then I've got some drapes and blinds up here. I love these two windows too because it gives the natural lighting. So as you can see, there's a lot of natural light in the kitchen area because of those two windows and I love that. This little side coffee table I also got from Home Goods. These are some white marble coasters that I have had from my last apartment. I believe I got those from Target. And then this is also from Home Goods. So I love Home Goods. This is where I get a lot of my stuff, Home Goods and Target. Then I have some blankets here that I use and then I also have another one down there. And I keep it in this nice wicker basket I also got from Target just to kind of organize everything. Now over here I have this little dish where we put our keys in. And then this is a cabinet I got from Home Goods as well. This is kind of like our junk cabinet. I have candles in there, I have coasters, I have books in there, I have a bunch of different random stuff in there. And then I actually got this little tray from my aunt for Christmas and I thought it looked really nice with the different colors. So that's looking at the front door. Then I have this here. I got this from Home Goods. I wanna say a few years ago, it was actually my old apartment. And I thought the colors around the rim of it tied in this apartment perfectly. I love it, it's such a cute little round mirror, good for selfies. And that is the front area here. And then we have a coat closet here. I'm gonna open it, but beware, it's a little messy but we just keep all of our coats there. I have my ring light there, and then down here I have shoes. I'm sorry, this is giving me so much anxiety, it's so messy, but shoes and then workout equipment too. But just keeping it real with you guys, up there we have extra blankets, we have little board games, some napkins, and some protein powder, things like that. So we kind of just keep this as an all-purpose closet, but it's really nice for storage. Moving on over here, I actually have this electric fireplace that I absolutely love. I believe I got this from Big Lots. It's so nice. You turn it on, it's electric, and it actually gives out a lot of heat, so it's really nice for the winter time as well. And it also has this little compartment where you can put excess remotes. So I have a remote in there and just a little guide in there, so I love that. And then we have this big TV here. So the nice part about this is it actually twists. So when I'm watching TV, I'll twist it this way. And then if I'm in the kitchen, I will twist it that way. So it's nice because it's on this little swivel. This piece of artwork I got from Home Goods. I wanted something pretty neutral here, but I really liked how it had some gray and some gold. I thought it tied in everything really nicely. So that is a really big piece of artwork, but I wanted something big that would kind of take up a lot of space because this is a really large wall. And I think it does the trick. And then this rocking chair I also got from Home Goods. So I love this. I sit on this all the time and just drink my coffee, watch TV. Such an amazing chair. It's so comfortable. And it has some detailing down here on the bottom, which I think ties in the room nicely. 
and this is one of my favorite chairs. It's kind of like an oatmeal white cream color. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's a really warm color. I love sitting on it and it's a rocking chair, like I said. So it's a pretty cozy chair. That's one of my favorites. Originally when I was moving in here, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do if I wanted to do an L-shaped couch and then another little sectional or love seat over here. But my mom and I were at Home Goods. we saw that chair and I thought it was perfect. And I'm really happy I chose it because I don't think it takes up too much space, but it is still a pretty comfy big chair somebody can sit in. So seating wise, you can probably fit like four to five here. And then moving over here is my kitchen table. So I wanted to get a table that I could actually take the wings out when I wanted and take it down when I wasn't using them just to have excess space. So I got this table from Pier 1 as well. And I also got these dark black chairs from Pier 1 as well. I wanted to tie in some black accents as well with the bar stools and the chairs because the marble is white and black and gray. So black is kind of the accent color I have chosen here. Now on the table here, I have this little white marble dish that turns and I think I got that from Home Goods. I have one of my favorite candles, white magnolia, also from Home Goods. And then I bought this little arrangement, fake flowers to tie in the green from over there as well. And I love this. I think it's just really nice and neutral and beautiful. And the nice part is when we're eating dinner, I will actually take these two things off and put a pan or a hot plate here and we can kind of eat it family style. So I thought this tied in really nice. I wanted something pretty basic for the kitchen table, but also something I could move if I needed to. Now these stools I got from Pier 1 as well. I actually got these on sale. This was a steal. I believe these stools by themselves were 120 and I got them for 60 each. So they pull out really nice and they also swivel as well. These are definitely a staple. I think I'll be able to keep to my next house. Really nice quality and they had four of them. So I love those. They're the perfect height for this little breakfast bar here. Sometimes I'll eat here as well or I'll eat at the kitchen table but I really love the stools. And also, like I mentioned, I wanted to do more of like a black accent color, so that's what I did here. Moving on over here, I just have this brushed gold candle type thing. I'm not really sure what this is called, but I like to put that on at night, kind of just calms the mood. And this is the gold that I also have tied in from over there as well. So moving on to the kitchen, this is something that sold me when I looked at this apartment. I loved how the kitchen was white and open and also had some bright natural lighting from the windows over there. I really wanted a neutral, white, clean vibe. That is basically my vibe around here. And I love this kitchen, it's so nice. I also love the countertops so much. When I have a house one day, I wanna do countertops like this or more of like a white and gray marble. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is when I moved in here, I'm actually the first person to live here. This was a new build, so it's pretty cool to be the first one to ever live here. But I do rent, so I don't own it, just renting. So like I mentioned before, I like to have more black accent colors. So I did this black matte soap dispenser. I think I got that from Amazon. This is where I dry a lot of my silverware, plates, cups, things like that. This is my fruit tray. As you can tell, I have to go grocery shopping. I don't have much in it, but I'll just keep fruit in there, avocados, different vegetables that don't need to be refrigerated. And I got that from CB2. It's such a nice ceramic bowl. It's my favorite. Over here is my essential oil diffuser. So I believe I got this from Patty Wax. That is the brand. And I have one here and one in my bedroom as well. You will never come to my house when I don't have oils diffusing. I am such a big essential oil lover. I think it just really lightens the mood in the house. It gives off a really good vibe. So I always have that here in the kitchen and I love to have more of like a citrus smell. Here's my paper towel holder. I have, again, the white marble accents here. So that's kind of the vibe I went with here. All the colors tie in well together and I believe I got that from Bed Bath & Beyond. Here are the appliances that actually came with the apartment and the black again. So that's why I've kind of been tying in black and gray. Over here I have a marble utensil holder. I got that from Home Goods and all of these utensils I believe I got on Amazon. Here is my little coffee tea station, I would say. I have my Nespresso machine that you guys have probably seen in several videos. I love coffee. Here's where I keep my Nespresso pods. And then here is my electric tea kettle where I make my lemon water and I do my tea. And this welcome sign I actually got from Etsy. I had a woman make it for me. I love it because I feel like right when you walk in the door, you can see it. It's really warm. I like the colors. I feel like it ties in really well. So I love that. Got it from Etsy. That's a sign I think kind of just brings the kitchen together. Over here, I have a salt rock night lamp and I like to put this on at night. Kind of just like calms the mood when I don't want the big overhead lighting on. And then I have my, you know what? If I say your name, she'll go off my Amazon, my girl. She keeps me busy when I'm making dinner or breakfast or lunch. I always play music. 
Here is my fridge, nothing too crazy in there. I have to go grocery shopping, I'll show you inside, but kind of running low on some stuff. As you can tell, we love hummus, <laughs> but I need to go grocery shopping today. And then here is the freezer. So, like I said, kind of bare, but that's what we have in there today. Up here, I have some more cabinet space as well. So, for this being somewhat of a small apartment, I do feel like I have a good amount of cabinet space. I'll show you guys what's in each. Here's where I keep more of my dishes, my plates, and my bowls. And then up there, I have more of my Tupperware. And then in this one, this is kind of an awkward cabinet because it's a corner cabinet, so I wasn't really sure what to put there. But I decided to do mugs down here. Up here, I have more of my appliances, my coffee grinder, my French press, my frother back there, I have a blender in there. And then up here, I have more just mason jars and random glassware. This is my coffee tea station. So I have my coffee in there, I have some matcha back there, some more tea, and then up there is kind of like medicine and nighttime rituals. Now over here, I have more of my cooking oils, so I can just grab it when I'm cooking here. Over here is water bottles, coffee cups, to-go cups, travel mugs, things like that. So I needed a tall cover to put those in, and that was perfect, even though it's a little high for me. Over here is where I have more of my spices all back there. It goes back pretty far. I have some quinoa, some chia seeds, some other random goodies back there. And then up there I have more of my protein powders, my PB2, BCAAs, post recovery type things, workout type supplements. And here are some of my snacks. So not the most organized, sorry about that. But I just have some brown rice, different random things down there, some snacks up there, and then some goodies up there as well. Down here is just more storage and then I have some oven mitts and under here is basically where I just keep all of my cleaning supplies, my essential oils, dishwasher there, and that is my kitchen. I would say I spend the majority of my time in here. So if you walk over here aside from the kitchen, this is where I have my laundry, washer and dryer. So it's really nice to have it right in there, constantly doing laundry. And then if you go over here, this is actually where my garage is. So this sold me on the apartment. As soon as I saw that I had a garage, I was sold. So not the cleanest because I have my work stuff over there. I, some of my boots and things there and then my car fits really nicely and then my bike there as well. Over here I have this circular white mirror that I love. I think it just adds a really nice opening here and it makes the wall look a little bit bigger. I also have a mirror right here on the floor and then some rugs here. I forgot to show you guys too, I have another runner type rug in there as well, the kitchen. Matching one out here and then here is the bedroom. So actually the bedrooms are really nice size. I'll get into this but these closets are massive, this like sold me on the place. But here's the bedroom, this is my bed. I got this from Home Goods as well. This is my bed, I don't know where I got this from, I've had it for a while now when I used to live with my parents. And then the pillows also from Home Goods. same with that pillow and this headboard I got on Amazon as well. So this is kind of what I have going on here. Moving over here is my bedside table. So here's the same diffuser that I have in the kitchen, the patty wax one, I love it. It's a nice ceramic one as well. And then here is an actual salt rock lamp. I have this on every single night before bed and it calms me, I love my salt rock lamp. This end table I believe I got from Home Goods, and it has a really nice marble detailing up here. Down here I have some of my books that I read before bed and then some coasters as well. So usually I'll bring in tea at night before I go to bed, keep my coaster up here, and yeah, that's my little bedside table. So moving on to my desk area, I have some drawers and things in here where I keep papers, just random type stuff for work. Then I have a printer here. This desk I believe I got from Office Max a while ago. Then over here I have some plants. My sister actually propagated these for me. And I got these planters from Lava Cats, which is a greenery here in Buffalo. So I like tying in some greenery in this room as well. Over here I have my phone stand. I have this little charging station where I keep my AirPods and my Apple Watch. I have a little lamp here for when I'm doing work. This is where I sit throughout the day and do all of my work. And this, I believe I got from Home Goods as well. So, I love Home Goods, if you guys can tell. This I also got from Office Max. This throw blanket I got from Target. And yeah, this is kind of the space where I just chill out, do my work, do my team calls, everything I need to do. I love doing in here because it's right by the window. Moving on to this dresser, I got this from Wayfair. Matthew and I put this dresser together last year. It literally took like three hours, but it's nice. It has a lot of space. The drawers are actually pretty big and pretty roomy. Up here I just have some random stuff. So I got this tray from Home Goods. 
This is my favorite candle ever. It's from Anthropology. I think it's the Volcano Candle. The best candle literally in the world. That's why I haven't lit it because I wanna keep it. it. Smells so good. This diffuser I got from Target and it actually has the same scent as this room spray. So this is an essential oil room spray. I think it's passion fruit and amber. It smells so good. And then I have some of my jewelry here in this little dish. Moving on over here, I have this really big mirror. I believe I got this from Home Goods as well. Take a lot of my selfies in here, which you guys probably already see. I love this mirror, just think it complements this room really nice. And then down here, this is Matthew's piano, so we kind of just keep it in the corner here and it's bag. Over here, I just keep some of my everyday bags on the back of my door. This is our hamper where we keep all of our dirty clothes. That is from Target as well. And then these are the closets. So like I said, this literally sold me. These closets are massive. So I'll show you guys, it's probably not the cleanest, not the most organized, but I have a ton of closet space, which is really nice. So up there, oh my God, giving me anxiety. I just have a lot of bags. And then this is all of my kind of like winter stuff, sweaters, and then some work clothes over here. Down here, I have all of my shoes. I love shoes, if you can tell. This closet is huge. It has so much room, so I love it. And then I also have another one on this side. So here's more of where I keep my sweatshirts, workout tops. Up here is basically all of my work clothes as well, some summer outfits. I've got some of my sports bras, some socks, random stuff, my jeans down there. So really not the cleanest. I should have cleaned this before I did my apartment tour, but whatever. And then I keep some of my bags up there. So like my Gucci bags and it's box up there. Those are some of Matthew's stuff, some iPad stuff. But I love this closet because it fits a ton. And this bedroom actually is pretty big as well and I love the two windows because it provides a lot of natural light. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm not the biggest person on overhead lighting. I like natural light and I love that in this room. Moving over here is the bathroom. So funny enough, this actually did not come with the apartment. This I bought from Home Goods. It's kind of like a little side table in the back. It actually has plugs where you can plug things in, which is cool. That I believe is from Target. It just has excess toothbrushes, like random stuff in there. I have this little candle in here, which is the same one you guys just saw in the bathroom, but a little baby one. It smells so good. Another little nightlight lamp here. I keep this on at night when I don't want to have the big overhead lighting on. This is the window here. I'll show you guys the backyard as well. And then we've got some of our toothbrushes, same detail marbling from the kitchen. It's kind of throughout the whole apartment, which I really like. I wanted to keep it really simple and basic in here. I didn't want a ton of stuff. I wanted it just very simple. So I got this from Amazon, just a soap dispenser. Over here I have this little eucalyptus fake arrangement and I think it's just nice for the bathroom. Little hand towel here. Here is the mirror, so it has those lights up there big mirror and then down here is more of just storage and things like that. These little bath mats I got from Target. Pretty basic, they have some roped detailing as well. And then some hand towels here as well. Then I have the shower and I believe I got that from Target as well, the little curtain, just white and basic. And then back here is actually a little linen or towel closet. So I don't know how clean this is, but we just keep random stuff in there, oh my God not clean at all <laughs> I should have done that before this anyways and then you walk out here another little rug and then the backyard so this I have been loving right now especially in quarantine because I've just been chilling my backyard is my fave so you walk out here and I'll show you guys what we've got we have this little portable grill here that we use a lot actually in the summertime I love grilling chicken, turkey burgers, things like that, shrimp. So we use that a lot. We keep it kind of tucked away, and then when we're using it, we keep it over here. Then I have some patio furniture. So I got this table from Amazon. It's pretty durable. I love it. Over here is where I have my fiddle leaf plant, and I got that plant stand from Amazon. She's doing pretty well. Big leaf up there is growing. Then I got these cushions from Amazon and that pillow from Target. So that is also the Chip and Joanna pillow. I love the white and just basic vibe here. And then this little couch arrangement, I believe my parents got that from, honestly, I'm not really sure where my parents got that from. So they gave me the couch and I just bought the cushions for it. So I chill out here a lot and drink coffee and relax. This is my favorite. 
Moving on over here, I have another fiddle leaf plant. This one is growing like crazy. I feel like it's gonna hit the ceiling pretty soon. And I have the little planter down there. I have some citronella candle and also citronella plant over there. And then we got this little table and chairs from Amazon. So we'll eat dinner or breakfast or lunch out here a lot. And it's really nice. I'm chilling here a lot. It's pretty spacey and I also do most of all my outdoor workouts right there. So it's pretty nice. And it's also covered as well. So this is my fave. I love it here. I love having a little back patio, it's so nice. All right guys, so that is gonna conclude my apartment tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am such an apartment tour junkie. I watch them on YouTube all the time and I love getting inspiration from other people. I also love having like a mood board on Pinterest. I love going to home goods and just buying stuff for my apartment. I love just adding things. This is a space that's really special to me. I take a lot of pride in my space and I really love just having a comfortable, warm space. I love inviting people over and cooking dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I upload every single Tuesday and Friday. If you guys have video recommendations, please let me know. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.